Hi everyone. In 2017, Espoo became the second Finnish city to have a metro line. Back then, the first part of Lansi metro was opened. Now, about five years later, we have five new stations, and tonight we are going to explore them all. Let's go underground. We are now in Kivenlahti. This is the first station of our trip and the last of the line. We are now about 18 kilometers away from Helsinki railway station. The commuter traffic on the new section between Matinkylä and Kivenlahti began in December 2022, so these are brand new stations. This is my first time visiting them and I want to share the experience with you. I especially want to see the architecture and the artworks of the platforms. There are teams on every station and in Kivenlahti the team is light and calmness. As you can see the hall is very open and they have used white materials. Somehow it reminds me of marble or that ice cream flavor that has small chocolate chips on it. Anyway, the look is very stylish and modern. Now we are entering the platform. The real eye catcher is the ceiling lights. The lights are even pulsating slowly. It brings life to the hall. It's like a heartbeat. And then there is the opposite of the cool and straightforward platform, the wooden sculptures by Kalle Mustonen. The funny thing is that they are called Kulkiat, which happen to be the name of my channel also. So these guys are basically my namesakes. And if you want to know what Kulkia is in English, it is often translated to Wanderer, which describes my channel also quite well. The cool thing is that you are allowed to touch them, the wood, black older films warm, and you can even see the tool marks on the surface. The sculptures were named Alis and Ulis. The shorter one is Alis and the taller one is Ulis. The names of the figures were chosen by a vote. And the names reflect the areas of Kivenlahti. 
I really like the contrast between the artwork and the platform. Right now we are around 57 meters below ground level, making this section one of the deepest points in Helsinki and Espoo metro system. Lauttasaari might be even deeper, but not much. Between the Kivenlahti and Espoolahti stations there is also a metro depot in Sammalvuori. There are two underground halls, one is for nighttime storage of 20 trains and the other is for maintaining the trains. They are huge holes, over 300 meters long. We are now in the world's northernmost metro system. The planning started in 1950s and finally in 1982 President Mauno Koivisto had the honor to open the metro. Originally the trains run between railway station and Itäkeskus. More stations were added later. And yes, the metro map was even simpler back in the 80s. The very first designs for a metro system already contained lines to Espoo. Helsinki and Espoo are the biggest cities of Finland and they form one big commuting area. So it makes sense to extend the metro to Espoo as well. We are now in Espoolahti. The station is inspired by nearby swimming hall and water. You can see the theme in colors, lighting and materials. Chrome plating imitates waves and light reflected by water. The platform hall is illuminated with bright white lights. Those look like a swimming pool lane markings on the floor. Such a cool detail. This station is built under the Lippulaiva shopping center. 
There are two entrances to the station and they both are inside the shopping center. While we wait for the next train, we might as well walk around to the other entrance and then come back down the, to the platform. An interesting thing about this shopping center is that it is less than a year old, but it's not the first lippulaiva. The original lippulaiva stood next door, but it was demolished and they built a bigger one here. And now it is connected to the metro line, pretty neat. Okay, here is the other entrance. Let's go back to the platform. I have noticed that the escalators are easy to walk. The height between two steps seems to be just perfect. Very nice detail and also one part of accessibility.
Here in the middle of the platform is a sound and light installation by Hans Rosenström. It is called Shadows on the Water. It involves light projections on the ceiling and a humming human voice. It's supposed to be a calm and meditative, which is the theme of this station. The installation comes and goes randomly throughout the day, so you have to have a bit of luck to see and hear it. I have my ticket on my phone, so don't worry, the fare is paid. And because it's a mobile ticket, I don't have to show any cards to the readers. As you know, we have a zone system in Helsinki metropolitan area, and all these new stations are on the zone C. So if you want to travel to Helsinki railway station, you need to buy ABC ticket. A single ticket costs 4.1 euros at the moment and it is valid for 90 minutes. If you want to explore a little bit more, I recommend a day ticket which is 11 euros for the ABC zone and it is valid for 24 hours. Please note that the ticket must be paid before you enter the platform area. Tickets are not inspected very vigorously, public transport here is more like honor based. However, if you get caught, the fine is 80 euros, which is relatively hefty. This is Soka Station. Can you already feel the 1960s? The appearance is inspired by its surrounding modernist buildings that dates back from the 1960s. The keywords are modernism, precision and sharpness. The metallic feel and the razor sharp corners are very distinctive. The colors of the surfaces change depending on the angle you are viewing them. The art installation of Soka Station is called Spheres by Taneli Rautiainen. There are four different elements which are located in different parts of the station from the platform level to the ticket hall. The spheres will depict a rock cutting, cloud cover, shooting stars and constellations. The idea is that you will travel from underground all the way to other parts of the universe. This is the ticket hall. Here we can see the constellations. The elevator seems to be fast and they have doors on two sides, so people going in and coming out don't bump into each other. Here in the elevator shaft you can see the shooting stars.
And fast forward to the next station. Now we have arrived to Kaita. It is inspired by a pine forest. This is Antti Tantus graphic artwork, Rooting. It refers to settling down and getting to know your residential environment. The artwork is really wide, spanning almost the entire length of the platform. It's made of aluminium sheets. The shapes are cut with laser. If we wonder why the new platforms are shorter than the old ones, there are basically two reasons for that. Plans for automatic metro and saving money. Automatic metro allows shorter times between the trains, so the trains don't have to be so long. When Lancy Metro was planned, they expected automatic metro to arrive soon, and Espo thought that they could save money by building shorter platforms. The plans for automatic metro were cancelled in 2015, but Espo did not want to change the plans for longer platforms. This meant that the maximum train length for the whole system had to be reduced in 2017, when the western extension opened. Shorter trains have caused congestion also on the old part of the system. And after all, they didn't save that much money, but you can't fix the platforms afterwards. An automatic metro might come someday, but for now we are stuck with this situation. Last stop of our trip, ladies and gentlemen, the Finno station. The installation has two separate layers of images. The top layer has laser cut holes through which the second layer can be seen. It captures details of coastal nature. It is really important to have warm tones and soften these glass and metal surfaces.
And now the record breaking escalators. These are now the longest escalators in Finland. The previous record holder was Koivusuari metro station, but these are about 2 meters longer. The length is 78 meters and it takes almost 2 minutes to go up or down. Finno area is a good example how Espoo is growing around the new metro stations. At the moment there are only a few apartment buildings near the stations, but there will be more in the upcoming years. Espo is growing fast, so new apartments are needed around the city. The metro line forms an important corridor where the growth will be most rapid. So this was the fifth station we have visited today. Let me know in the comments what you think about the architecture and the art of the new Lansi metro stations. Which one was your favorite? I think mine was Sokka because it was very comprehensive and the artwork was present all the way from above the ground to the platform level. I think it is important to bring art to metro stations and Lansi metro really has made fantastic job especially with Kivenlahti and Sokka stations. And before we get outside again, let me know if you have enjoyed this type of walking tour that had a little bit of editing in it. It is my first time trying this, so your feedback is appreciated. Also a huge thanks to my supporters who keep me warm with cups of coffee. It really warms my heart as well. I hope you have enjoyed this walk with me. Now I'm heading back home to Helsinki and we will meet again soon. Bye bye!